Hi, I'm Leonie from Spines and Splines. This week I have a slightly different video for you. I'm going to show you how you can make a water filter from recycled packaging and charcoal. Here I'm crushing up some activated charcoal, which I bought a little while ago from an aquarium supplier, and this is what will filter my water. I started thinking about this video a little while ago at the suggestion of a friend and fellow artist who was concerned about pouring pigment and paint particles that could potentially be toxic to marine life down the sink, especially from acrylic paint, which is made from plastic. I want to point out up front that while this is an absolutely valid concern and we should all be doing what we can to minimise our imprint on our environment, it's a small number of very big businesses who are responsible for the lion's share of environmental pollution. In fact, I'll be reusing a piece of plastic waste from one of those companies in this video. These companies spend a lot of money on PR to try and shift blame for their environmental impacts onto us as individuals, but even while we do what we can to help improve things, it's these big companies that need to step up, take responsibility and change their processes. I've linked a couple of articles in the video description where you can read up a bit more about this. Back to filtering water though. If you're working from home or you're in a small studio without easy access to water, this could be a good trick for you. If you own your own home or studio and you're able to install a filter under your sink, that's a great step to take. If you're like me and you can't change your plumbing very easily, you can make this filter. Basically, I'm crushing up aquarium charcoal, putting it in a bag, soaking it in some water, and then packing it into a bottle that I've altered. I can pour my brush cleaning water through this and the charcoal acts as a filter to catch all the little paint particles. When I made my first filter, it was to stop pouring potentially toxic particles down my sink. But what I actually really love is not needing to constantly be carrying jars of water up and downstairs around my house. I can just use the same water over and over again for as long as possible really. Eventually the filter will reach a point where it stops working and you'll need to dispose of the charcoal safely and replace it with a fresh batch. After I'd crushed up my charcoal and tied it up into this little cheesecloth bag that I had from an old project, I set it to soak in my tiny bathroom sink while I cut up my bottle. I used a plastic soft drink bottle. Well, that's soft drink if you're Australian like me. Soda pop or soda pop if you live in the US or a minerals bottle if you live in Ireland. You can use whatever bottle or jar that you want to. I cut my bottle in half carefully with a utility knife and I inverted the top half. I stuffed the bag of charcoal into the bottle, pushing the end with the excess fabric first to act as an extra layer of filtering. When I first put my soaked charcoal into the container and poured my dirty water through, it just ran through the charcoal very fast without doing much except washing out a lot of the charcoal powder from my bag. To fix this, I made sure that the charcoal was packed as closely as possible. Then I decided to cut a little notch carefully in the lid of the bottle with my utility knife and then I screwed the lid back onto the bottle. This really helped slow down the flow of the water, only allowing it to drip through. And with this one little fix, the filter started to work really well straight away.
While this water drips through the filter at super speed, now seems like a good time to remind you that I have a Patreon and you can go and join it. Every little bit of support adds up and is really appreciated. So if you like what I make here, please consider heading over to Patreon and supporting me there. And that's how you can make an effective and simple water filter at home to use in your art studio. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe and share it. If you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave me a comment. I've listed all the materials that I use in the description and you'll also find links there for my website, my Patreon, my Facebook page, my Instagram and some affiliate links to art stores where you can buy materials. Thanks for watching. Cheers.